city's been working for the last 24 years to make itself livable. Uh, that's easy by planting trees, fixing up the street environments, making them exciting places to live. It's also been reducing its uh, energy by actually uh, reducing the consumption from street lights and, and many other aspects of the city. It's been increasing its population by basically increasing the number of people who actually live in the central city. It's been actually producing renewable energy by putting in things like solar voltaics at the Queen Victoria market and projects like the East Melbourne Library which actually use uh, geothermal to actually heat and cool them. And CH2 now shows us how we can take a commercial office building and use 85% less energy on it. This has all been about livability. But the interesting thing is how do we actually make our cities into the future and what do they look like? They're going to need to be dense, and this is uh, Peter New uh, Newman's slide about densities. The city needs to have 150 people per hectare to actually function as a sustainable city. You can see the cities there, and the first city of, in a European context is Barcelona at 200 people per hectare. So all we need to do is build Barcelona. So what does the future look like? Seven storeys, good streets, mixed use. Good public transport, not a bad future. We only have to do that on every one of these spots and we've got Melbourne 30, uh, 2030 and that will give us a sustainable future. So we've almost got to go around to know that we've been there before. And someone else said that. Thank you, that's my presentation. <laughs> I was asked to use the last 30 seconds to say there is a conference coming up EcoEdge in February. Uh, Registration is open. It's not one of those $2,000 conferences. It's a much cheaper one than that. I think it's $450. And there are a whole lot of people coming from overseas to speak to you about that subject. Thanks.